at Thrive, we are focusing on what consumers can do. Because uh, I feel consumers have a lot more power than um, we have been acknowledging. Absolutely, I believe a lot of these companies need to reprioritize the way the machine learning and algorithms are constantly consuming uh, our attention and change the incentives, which is not going to be easy because at the moment they're incentivized to they're hijack money more and of more it. of our attention and sell it for advertising. Um, but I think there's been such a backlash, especially among parents worried for their children, as we know, uh, mental health problems, depression and anxiety are skyrocketing among teenagers who spend uh, too much time on social media. So our focus is on empowering consumers, on helping them set limits to how much time they're spending online and especially making sure it's intentional because so often we just lose ourselves online and then don't even realize how much time we spend on the different apps or social media. Do you think that the culture in Silicon Valley as a result of the things we've seen over the last year is evolving? Yes, absolutely, it is evolving. And um, is it evolving fast enough? No, <laughs> uh, nothing is evolving fast enough now that we have clear data uh, of the problems. Uh, but at least it's very clear now that the public demands change and um, I feel we're seeing change. And that kind of change, does it have to be a holistic approach? Certainly the World Government Summit is saying in terms of making life uh, more equitable, making opportunities uh, for both men and women are essential to inclusive growth. Do you think that it has to be a government approach with the private sector to ensure that that happens? Well, obviously, government has a big role to play in terms of family leave, in terms of subsidized childcare. But what is so interesting here um, at the World Government Summit is the fact that there's a tremendous emphasis on technology. There is the Museum of the Future. There is a Minister for Artificial Intelligence. But also, there is a Minister for Happiness. So it seems that they've understood the need um, to bring together uh, all these technological advances with an emphasis on humanity. Because there are certain things that only humans can do. Artificial intelligence may be more intelligent than we are down the road, uh, but it's not going to be wiser. It's not going to be more empathetic, and it's not going to be more loving. And we need to foster and nurture these qualities in human beings in order to be able to build a future um, that has all these qualities that are central to us being able to work together and live together and also be at our most creative.